Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. Uh, as I mentioned, inshallah, we will have a short update. Um, you can ask any question about the project. Brother Sohail is here. We also have Abdul Wahid uh, in the masjid. We can bring in anyone. Uh, if we don't have the question, we will be able to answer those. Um, after the 10 minutes of the PowerPoints, which will go through the project and the details, it will be open to questions and you can ask whichever question, they will all come in online and the session is also recorded. Um, with that, inshallah, I'll hand it off to Brother Sohil. Jazakallah khair, Brother Asad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, rahman rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thanks to Almighty and after that, everybody else, all the Muslims who are working and uh, donated for this great cause, alhamdulillah. Um, we are making um, good progress and um, to complete this project as quick as possible. But of course, nothing is like ideal or nothing can, like everything cannot be worked as we, as we expect. So there are some hiccups, some ups and downs in that, like any other project as well. But the purpose of today's discussion is to give the um, current status, some updates, some financials also about this project, where we are, how we are doing, how far we are from our um, completion, as well as um, any questions. If anybody from the community have today or down the road as well, please feel free to send your questions. You can email that to Masjid email address or send via text messages, whatever number you have from the masjid. We'll inshallah, I'll respond back to you guys as quick as possible. Um, so, brother, do you start that with the current slide that we have from the uh, pictures, current um, status update on that. I just took a um, couple pictures on that. Next slide. So I just took a, we just took a couple pictures of that just to show you where we are right now inside of the masjid. We did not take much pictures purposely. Why is that we want you guys to come and visit the place and see it with your own eyes where we are from the progress perspective. We are working with the, um, with the contractors and the builders on site to allow us, allow our community sometime any weekend that they are that they feel um, it's good and safe for the people to visit and come inside and look at the and take a tour of the masjid inshallah we'll announce that as soon as we finalize that date also but just to let you know you can see the pictures of the member mehrab and all those things the ceiling is done it is this picture is about a few weeks older so in few weeks they have again make significant progress um the drywalls taping and mudding is almost done after that the paint work will start inside outside courtyard if you guys any of you have visited the masjid outside there was a like in the front entrance of the of the doors there was a, like a rough land or rough piece of um ground was there with all the weeds and everything was there. It's all clean up. It's all concrete looking good, mashallah. So um, that part done and additionally, inside all the electric, everything is done. So whatever we, um, uh, the, they're working on, those are done. Um, drywall painting will start. The next slide now to give, at the similar up that we shared in our email also. So to give you guys just a more details about that, that the initial plan was to have the occupancy uh, for prayer on the first floor. Um, in Ramadan, when we are doing our fundraise, we plan to have the um, complete the complete the project, and that's why we were targeting of raising 1.8 mil at that time, and. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we raised quite a bit of it. Uh, still, something is pending, and I will come to the numbers later down the road also. But um, then when we talk to the builders and the contractors, uh, the inspectors and the other people, the relevant people, we found, we found that 
it is um, not feasible, not a good approach to occupy the space um, partial. Like if we need to occupy the space, just the main floor, we need to build some walls around some other places, some other floors where it seems to be dangerous or hazard for the for anybody else or the kids, especially when they just walk around and maybe hide from the sight of the of the people over there. So to build that those walls or those hurdles or protect or those protection things um, that cost us a lot to do that to be part of rather than spending money temporary solution. We don't do that and we look forward to have just the finishing the project in one go and let's get it done. So Alhamdulillah, we, um, we talked to the in, the in the community also and we figured out, okay, let's go with that, the full occupancy. And we have to trade that off with something to, we compromise something on that due to the cost issue. So what happened in that case, we compromise some of those um like um not i would say um unnecessary but nice to have things though they will build on on the in the masjid down the road like the the um the dome on top of that the minaret the inside mill work in the basement and other places also so those things we compromise on them to bring the cost down to complete this project because we all know we are excited we are looking forward anxiously to complete this as to complete this as soon as possible and inshallah start praying uh, start prayer over there so that's what we're working on that um so that was the summary of this first page of the four points that i mentioned over here um next page i would move on to some more points some more um um highlights so outside, the, like I mentioned, the um, um, complete the project to make sure that we are in, and then we can complete those items later down the road when we have some some extra funds available or when we have time. At least people can go inside. The we, we can reach to a point that it's not lingering on further, and we are inside the masjid praying there. When people are praying there inside there they see something is really in front of them. It's ready and they're using it rather than just like every year from last several years, it's been happening that we are working, we are working, it's coming up, it's coming up. When something is materialized or get mature in front of our eyes, then it's a different perspective of that also. Um, there were a few items that were um, long waiting in the list in terms of ordering and procurement. And uh, the lead time for those items was really, really months and years. And uh, especially the few items in that like switch box, electric switch box and uh, the elevator and the doors also. So the electric switch box was about one year delay. The, elect the elevator was one year plus delay time in that also. So Alhamdulillah, but we got enough funds. We placed the orders of those items also, and we locked on the price for those items as well. They are in pipeline now. I mean, the switch gear box will be coming maybe next few weeks or somewhere in November. I hope, inshallah, we are hoping for that. The elevator expected to become somewhere in February. Uh, but those are the things that the entire project uh, depends on to be in place before we open the door for anybody, for the community to start praying inside there. The good thing is that the order has been placed, the things are in pipeline, we're just waiting for them to be delivered and then the, the contractor will start installing them. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the drywall installation um, begin and then um, it, uh, it, it drywalls are completed. Now they are working on taping and mudding and then after that they start the painting work also. Um, the next thing we notice, the one of the very significant thing or something that need really needs serious concern was these mm -hmm. we noticed some leakage, water leakage in the basement. Um, like um, this past spring, especially when we had heavy rain. I would say this is the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that rain came and we figured out, we found that there was something wrong with the basement of the masjid. So we called the contractor. 
and they came they saw the the water inside the inside the basement from their eyes also so we took pictures as well and then um, talked to them they hire another third party contractor their own subcontractor in fact who are specialized in um, water proofing basement and all those things um they worked on that they dig the whole west side wall of the masjid and take the mud out from there and install the ceilings and all that stuff into that side of the wall also alhamdulillah that side is fully covered now but as they were working on that we figured out that there are some few spots some other sides of the wall also where we had those issues and we informed them they are working on that also um to i mean these things i'm i'm we are i mean very um alhamdulillah it's it's good that we discovered those things now rather than later because if those things come up later down the road, we have all the wood or any woodwork, anything in the basement done, and then we see some water is coming in there. That would be terrible or like a nightmare for anybody, in fact. So we figured that out. I mean, as we said, I mean, there is always, I mean, something, there is always something good in whatever the delays are happening, whatever is happening. There is, there is always something good behind that. We just need to realize that. We just need to understand that if something is taking some time, there is always something good from Allah SWT, Allah SWT behind that. So if we could have done masjid last year or completed that, we figure out that this leakage is happening now. It might be running into, in, into terrible issue then. So those things are being done, uh, been taken care of, and they are working on fixing the other parts as well. And we asked them to provide us um warranty that it won't happen again but if they bear all the cost of repair whatever happened in the in the future once we occupy that space also so we are working and negotiating on that with the contractor as well um next i will move on to the final slide of the numbers over here um these numbers are actually coming up from the um from the beginning of 2023 and these are the numbers that we have been sharing in our monthly newsletter as well um so you can see what we collect in each month from january till september how much we spend and what do we have remaining in our account to complete the rest of the project so you so um you can see the big jump in april and may was because that the month of Ramadan when uh, when the community and other people, they, alhamdulillah, donated very well beyond their capacity. I would say may Allah reward every one of them, every one of you who helped us in completing and raise, raising funds for this project. And now, right now, we have about 1.37 uh, million in bank that are sitting there to complete the project. Um, it's too early to say that we have enough funds to complete the project because unexpected can be there. We cannot predict the future. If something happened, we might need another couple hundred to few hundred thousand dollars to complete the project. But as of now, we have this much money sitting and we for this project. And inshallah, we should be good to go for now, Bazad. But as I said, things might change. We see whatever is coming up there, especially when I say that we locked down the prices for the elevator and switch gear, that means no matter what happened, the prices are locked down. So the prices for those especially big items won't get cheap. Add in twenty five thousand dollars worth of elevator. It's it, it's something really a big chunk of it, and one hundred and twenty five thousand approximated that. So these are the numbers that we have, and these are number these are the numbers. Everyone is aware of that. We are sharing in the in our monthly newsletter and pretty much transparent anybody has any question about these numbers they can contact us anybody in the in the masjid shura or committee and uh, we can answer those questions also so sure. with that i would uh, inshallah stop over here and uh, we can open the floor for the any questions here Okay, um, so we have, uh, we'll start with the questions in the masjid, and then um, anyone who wants to add in any questions online, they can submit a chat, or we can uh, have you turn on uh, your mic, and then you can ask the question. So, start off with Brother Muhammad. There's something that comes up.
Something like that comes up while we're here in the process. What's the plan for the shiva in case you know what? Some I walked around this previous. The wall is started crashing without the remote to the nation that had their own creation. So I think something like that happens. If they have to build the house, there's always something. So the question is, um, anything that happens in the masjid, the, in the in the construction of the masjid, and you see issues with it, what is is there? Do we have insurance? Um, how how do we deal with it? And uh, for example, if there's a crack, who is going to cover the cost of it? Okay, go ahead. Just understand that whatever fix it, the damage. Who pays, right? Yes. So, Alhamdulillah. Yes. No, we're still under contract. So, they, well, anything that needs to be fixed. So, Alhamdulillah, we don't have to pay anything. They, as you can see, they dig the whole entire place and saw the problem. They fixed it. All that is under their cost. So, and also, once before we move in, there's something called walkthrough. So we have to check all the work that they completed and any damage or any issues they have to fix before they give us the key. So we're not responsible. Only when we move in, there are some material that has a warranty for like, like Brother uh, Suhail mentioned, we have a warranty for five years. Any leak comes into the masjid, they have to come back and fix it. Who is the Baba in blue shirt? Who is the Baba? Please, please, please. Please make sure that you stay on mute for those who are online. So part of the second question is that what is our timeline to actually move in? What based on everything that we know right now, when can we move in? See, the, that's a, a very difficult question to answer. If you ask me this question last when we were one raising last Ramadan, yeah. So basically, if you if if you remember last time. The company told us, all right, these are the work that needs to be done. Each one will take this long, and you will be able to move in by December. We were excited. But now, when you look to what the city has done, I'm sure Brother Ibrahim's soil cover, city came back for uh, electrical inspection, and then they said, oh, okay, hold on. This wall is not fireproof, so you have to remove it and put a fireproof wall. That was not expected. So to redesign the wall, to do the job, it takes all the way, at this time we're talking, they have not even finished all of it yet. So these things come out and delay the job. Second, as we were putting drywall all over the masjid, on the basement, drywall is completed. Guess what? We have water coming in, unexpected. So then we have to address that issue, and then they have to spend time investigating, digging, covering we can only tell now what's left to complete the masjid. But the timeline is always an issue. And that is a very disappointing for us, very frustrated. Because you have a schedule to complete the masjid this day. And suddenly some issue comes out and it takes two months to fix that problem. So far, what's left? If we finish the paint and the dry, what do they call the drywall, the tape is going, the paint is finished. If there is no any issue. All these will take at least to finish by January, December. What's left is waiting for the elevator. But we ask the company, we need to finish the masjid completely, whatever needs to be done now, just to be sit and wait for the elevator, at least. So people can walk in, take their shoes off, and at least able to see most of the stuff done. We can't, the, uh, the only thing I can say is, if I tell you today, this day, it might not work, and it's going to be a problem for us. And and I just 
Exactly. So, um, as Abdul Wahid, Brother Al Rahim mentioned, and I also told earlier that this project is not this project. Any project is have some ups and downs every time. So nothing is perfect in the world. You discover something that you don't expect: water leakage, that damaging of the 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 fireproofing of the wall. So you never know if something else comes up in the future. So, but we should be optimistic in terms of when we are going to complete this. I mean, we cannot just say that there is no target date for that. There is always a target date, but that target date can move either backward or forward, whatever is that. So as of now, from the contractor perspective, first quarter, by the end of first quarter of 2024, we are hoping, inshallah, very hopeful for that, that will be in there. But again, this is just as of now, things might change. We might end up having the occupancy end of February, end of March, end of April. As of now, first quarter, end of first quarter, that's what they have given us the date for that also. Um, next question, please. Yeah. No, the, the pledges that were, um, I can answer to that one, basically. Uh, the question was, the ple the pledges that were made in Ramadan, have they been, does the 1.3 that was shown, does it include those or not? Um, so the answer is that no, it does not include all of those pledges yet. Um, this will continue up to May for those who um, pledged and said, you know, I will continue. We have some brothers who have continued to come in. And uh, I think uh, the numbers, if uh, Brother, Sir, or Brother Tarek, if you could show that chart again. Yeah, 1.379 is what we have in the account right now. And you can see that income every month is around 40 to 60,000. So that's coming in because of those pledges. So Alhamdulillah. Yes. Great, great question. So Right on. So uh, the question is that why was the building reclassified as a three floor where previously the inspector had uh, classified as a two floor and because of that we are running into some issues. Yeah. So basically, originally we had an idea to partial permit to finish the main prayer area, the sister site and move in and forget about the at least the basement to make sure we cut the cost and the time and when we move in we can finish the rest later this is when we realize the question you just asked the city says no 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 no. you need to have an elevator and you need to finish the three levels and this we had a our i mean the trainer went back and it said no we can actually achieve this goal by doing certain things the design which they presented to block the area that we're not going to use, that cost to become the same amount, what is it, uh, 80000 less than or 100000 less than to finish the whole masjid. So we escaped that idea and we decided just to finish the whole masjid. Mm -hmm. So that came from the city. The classification, they can change anytime they want. Answer your True. Right. Correct. So, the, I mean, this is uh, this is cities actually the um, guidance or their their um, way how to do the work. So, you can expect anything from city anytime. What they come up with, what the, what, what the inspector come up with, how they want to qualify those things and how they want to do that. So, whatever we have secured so far, that's what we have based on their current guidelines. Tomorrow, something else come up. City changes their guidelines. We have to follow those also. So that's why it came up like that. It has to be classified as a three-story building and not two-story. I'll give you one example. The staircase, finally they figured out how to build the walls, completed. The city inspector came and said, you failed the electricity. Electricity was already passed. So we called the city inspector from the electricity department, and he came and says, no, you're good. They are fighting with them each other for the last two weeks to come on the same page 
because this electricity is already done. You approve it. Now the, the final inspection from the wall came and says, no, I don't like this electricity. You have to change this. So whatever change that you see or different classification, it's all from the city. Yes, we know something yesterday, but once they come, they come up their own. And I'm assuming maybe sometimes they change this in inspection. The one we dealt with last year is not there today, and they come up their own protocols. So um, the question Brother Omar asked is that um, the they are the people aware of one of the major expense as an elevator and uh, is there anything else that is kind of a, another major expense that we are expecting to incur um, during the for the rest of the development of the project. So um, whatever major expenses that we found, we discovered them, we, we already identified those. I don't expect, or we don't expect any major coming thing coming up in there. But again, the word but is still there. We don't know. It's It will be clear as the contractor work on that. Whatever we know as of now, those are the major expenses, the things. And right, so the switch gearbox that we know, the, we know the elevator, we know the doors, we know the dome, the minaret, and all those things to be developed. But those things we pushed back a little bit to cut down the cost and complete the project without those nice to have things in place. The elevator, the switch gear box, and the low voltage wiring, all that stuff like speakers, sound, surround sound, everything in there, the security surveillance camera and all those things, those are things that has to be in place that we cannot open that without having those things in place. And the good thing about that, that the elevator is already covered in the current cost that we have. We already paid half of it to the company so that they can ship us that. And that's in the queue right now, in the pipeline right now. So, yeah, yeah. So the question um, was that um, the current issue that we came up with uh, leak of the leakage in the in in the basement was that if same some, it took them to address that issue at least a few months to address that issue. Now, if something happens same in the future, what is the timeline, what is the guarantee, or what is the um, turnaround back time from the from the contractor to fix those issues? Do we have any, any kind of a bindings in place with them or contract with them or warranty or penalty or something like that? So to answer that question, we... In our, we have our every other week, every other Friday, we have meeting with the with the contractor and all the teams working together in this project. So we uh, biweekly we have that meeting and we discuss those things. We raise those things several times to the try out. They are aware of that and we ask them. We need some kind of a warranty, guarantee, or some kind of a paper document agreement that if anything happens, you need to fix this in certain amount of time or this much charges or this much penalty or whatever that it's hundred percent covered at your cost we will not put anything in place. So we are working on those agreements with the contractors and they're working with their subcontractor, whatever they are doing, but for us, it's try not. So we are working with them also. Inshallah, by looking, by going through this uh, issue, we we realized that, uh, I mean, it was before also, but when we are now more focused on towards having after completion contractor contract with them also to make sure that our bases are covered. We are covered entirely for a certain period of time with the cost, with the material, with the labor, everything in place also. Absolutely. Yep, as in, exactly. Yep, that's right.
question is uh, the property that's in the complex, uh, the house to the to the north or the west uh, side. What what is uh, is that a masjid asset? And uh, that's all. So uh, yes, it is a masjid asset. It will it is our plan is to keep it. We have actually renovated. Uh, that's the same building that was flooded uh, a year ago, um, a bit over a year ago from now. So we've uh, renovated the inside. The Sunday school uh, is held there. The summer program was held there. Um, so Alhamdulillah, it's it's actually in use. And um, our plan is because the masjid, when it's complete, does not have classrooms in it. So we will keep that building in for any classes to be held there. Inshallah, it's it's coming into use right now. So, so the renovation cost was paid from the Sunday school account. So the kids who come in, they, the project money is not used for that, if that's what you were referring to. Yeah. And insurance pays for flooding insurance. Yes, brother. Yes, the question is, what would happen to the existing masjid when we complete, uh, when we com uh, when we are ready to move into the new masjid? So this is another asset of the masjid, and uh, we have a couple options. One is to just sell it all outright, um, but the, one of the other options that we're looking at is working with a property manager uh, to take this building and lease it to them, and they will run it as a business and profit from the business sustains the new masjid. That's that's our plan, inshallah. So, and we have a meeting coming up uh, at 2.30, uh, so we will be talking more about wh what we do with the, with this masjid, with the trustees, inshallah. Yeah, Hamdi, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give you the mic. <laughs> give him, give him that, inshallah. So, um, if nobody has, you have any question, brother? Yes, yes, please. That is, I mean, it's hard to remember now because so many numbers are there. I can, I mean, we can share that information also later. And so you will find out how much we spent so far on that too. Um, the other thing, if anybody has question online, Brother Tariq? Okay. Um, so then, okay. Anybody has question online, whoever joined, please unmute yourself or type in the chat box also. We'll give a minute for that. Yes, Brother Umar. I would like to say thank you to all of our Shura members for uh, all the hard work they have put in. So sometimes we don't realize how much work is put in and behind the scenes. So may Allah bless you guys all and everyone who has donated in our community. And I think like we all should pray to, to Allah to make this project successful because we also need du'as. I had just like small project at my home and that cost me like months and like, you know, $20,000 expense went into 30000 and 40000 So it's just that's how things are being done nowadays. But I think uh, Alhamdulillah project is coming and there's a site in like, you know, we have a at least it's there is a expected date and hopefully may Allah, uh, Allah, Allah will make it happen. And, and so, but I want to say thank you to all of you for all your efforts. MashaAllah, it's been like we've been part of this and then we have seen this grow for so long. So Alhamdulillah, and thank you so much for all of your efforts. Jazakallah, Jazakallah, Jazakallah brother. Jazakallah, well, brother. Yes, one uh, brother Hamdi also made the same comments over here. Comment over here, uh, and it is all the. I mean, not only us. Everybody is working on that with their due diligence. Somebody working from their from their financial perspective. Somebody working their hard work. Somebody doing physical effort in there. So whoever is doing, they are doing best on their capacity, best on their ability. Whatever Allah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala provided them, they're doing it. And we all just running for one cause to get it done, get inside there, 
and start the new masjid, inshallah. That's what the, and we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now. It's more brighter now. It's not a truck light that we're just running behind that. It's really a, uh, that we can see now something is coming up, inshallah, soon. Next several months would be more hard work and uh, more um, effort to take in place. And I appreciate my team as well as anybody, all the community members who, and everybody, in fact, the entire country and the world effect, in fact, the have whoever donated from wherever they are, they are, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, give barakah in their risk, in their uh, in their wealth and health also, whoever uh, spent for this cause or doing it, inshallah, we'll continue this effort. And one last thing before we shut down this meeting is that whoever hasn't, okay, is there a question, brother? Okay, so um, whoever hasn't fulfilled their commitment since last Ramadan or since they committed, please do so. We, we are in need of completing those commitments now. I'm seeing a few people just fulfill their commitment and Jazakallah um, that they, they uh, fulfill their commitment, but there are a bunch of people, bunch of commitments or pledges, as Brother Asa said also, that we are still waiting for them to be fulfilled. So please, you know how much you committed, you know how much you uh, left with, so please do that and uh, uh, so that we can make this product successful, inshallah. Yes, Brother Tarek. Thank you, brothers. I have a question. My question is, with the great progress in the mission, are we going to offer the community uh, an open door or a tour for come to see the progress rather than some photos and so on? Yes, inshallah. And that's what I mentioned earlier also in my presentation that we are working with the contractor to set a time with them where they feel safe, that they give us a go ahead that it is safe for the community members to go inside and visit the inside all the construction, all the work that has been done so far. That's the, one of the reasons we did not put much pictures on the slide as well. We want you guys to come in there, see it with your own eyes and be witness for that this much progress has been done. So we'll announce that date. Inshallah, as soon as you finalize with the contractor. Inshallah, the plan would be that we um, we open up a, a, a batch and people register, so we don't have hundred people showing up. Uh, we would we would want to do this in small batches, so maybe once a once a week on a Sunday. Once it's safe, right now, uh, as Brother Sohail mentioned, if you walk in from the women's entrance, the stair is not safe. You cannot just walk in. Uh, you know, they have uh, wood pillars that are just nailed in place. So it's not safe for us to hold those right now, inshallah. But in future, soon we will be able to do that. Any other questions online? Any question? When is the meeting date? Yes. All right. Okay, Jazakallah Khair, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.